Why are the trains late or don't arrive at all? Why are there no elevators to the second floor? Why can I not connect to the internet? Hello everyone! I'm back from my awesome four-week Japan trip and today I want to show you what products I brought back home. But before I do that, there are a few things that I really like to mention and recommend doing or not doing when you go to Japan and want to go on a shopping spree. So, finally, let's come to the things that I have bought in Japan. There is a lot that I'm having here and I've no idea where to put that. Probably all <laughs> on the floor, so I guess this will look very chaotic <laughs> in a bit. Um, these things are in no particular order and they are from 3P Daiso, uh, Seria, Hands, Loft, Donkey, Muji, standard products. I have the impression I've missed something. Anyway, oh yeah, super bizarre. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they are in no particular order and sometimes they are quite random products, I'd say. So if there were products that I needed and they were much cheaper in Japan than in Germany, so where I'm from, I just bought it. For example, um, where is it? Uh, yeah, there are things, I mean, I would normally not buy abroad because I can also get that at home, but it was so much cheaper. Um, and I also had space at that time in my suitcase that I just decided to buy it. So let's get started. Name tag. <laughs> I needed two of these actually and I uh, had to go to multiple stores and I've been to the fifth Daiso until they finally had that and that Daiso was at uh, Hakata station. So Hakata is the main station in Fukuoka. So it's not called Fukuoka station but Hakata. And they had a Daiso and they had those tags for suitcases. And um, yeah, this was the only one of that color. They also had one uh, in dark blue and with, uh, yeah, the, that blue was, I think, red. I don't know, something was red, but the sides didn't come out that well. And I could have needed two, but yeah, didn't work out. Um, I actually wanted to have one, um, that has like a lid on the back so you can't see the uh, address. So there's, there's still a slip of paper in here with my name and address. So this is why I'm covering this up. But I don't like that because it happens quite often that it just flips on your suitcase and then people can see your name and your address and I don't like that. But I couldn't find anything else and so I needed that and I bought that. And I really like that because it says a Tokyo metropolitan area uh, and uh, this is the outline of uh, the metropolitan area. There are uh, the sites also where they are located, except for Mount Fuji, because Mount Fuji is actually supposed to be rather here. And Sakura, Sakura Blossoms. And I really like that one. And where do I put it? <laughs> no space. Um, second, this is from Muji. Uh, it just what's that, what's this called, uh, light toning water. So you can, not at all stores, but at that one I could, uh, I was able to, to test a few and uh, I didn't really like the, the very moist ones, but the light toning water and I bought like a small um, size. So this is 50 milliliters. Um, yeah, because I, I don't need that much. I was actually looking for the dark green one but I couldn't find it and um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, you will probably ask why I bought this one, but it was very cheap. It was much cheaper than stuff uh, I get here at home and I needed that, I really needed that. And this is a, a flower pot stand. So this is still together. You uh, basically uh, put that together and then you put your flower pot in here. And uh, I need that for one plant because um, yeah, it, it grows quite well 
and um, yeah, the leaves are already touching the ground, so I need to put that up a little higher. And uh, I definitely need that. And I would have bought that anyways here at home. And in Japan, it was much, much cheaper. Long cooking chopsticks. Not going to open that up, but I needed a new cover for my backpack when it's rainy. I didn't like that one, but I didn't find a better one. So this one has no string, so I can't just, you know, put that around my backpack and then it keeps it tightly um, at the brim. This is basically just a bag that you put over um, your your bag or your backpack and uh, I don't like that very much. It's uh, rectangular shaped and yeah, but it's the best that I've found. I wanted to buy glass, one piece of glass. I didn't do that. And uh, I actually didn't want to buy tableware, but I've done that because I found something so incredibly cute and nice looking. And this is, for example, this plate. I wanted to have a lot of sakura and matcha products, and this is sakura related. This is uh, a nice plate. Uh, I'm not so sure where I got this. I, I, I really don't remember. I think Daiso doesn't say, so, uh, doesn't say anything. So this one is really cute. And when I buy these things, I um, first of all ask myself, will I like this in 10 minutes from now when I've looked for 10 minutes um, at the product? Will I like that next week? And will I also like that in a year from now? And does it fit into what I'm having? Because I don't have any sets. And um, <laughs> I will definitely love this in 10 years from now. And I also got... two bowls. So this is a smaller one and this is a bigger one. And the cool thing about this is, sorry, um, it has the, the floral design inside. And I'm not so sure that you can see that, but it also has the floral design on the outside, but um, in white. And uh, the same with this big one. So you've got the floral design inside and uh, have the floral design outside, but inside it's colored and outside it is neutral, it is white, and it looks amazing. I really love that. I asked them whether they have also a cup and a plate, and they said, no, we don't have a plate, and uh, because it was never uh, considered to be um, a full set, which is quite sad. So I've got two bowls, careful, and that plate, but no round plate. And no muck and for me this set is just not complete but okay and I'm so incredibly glad I bought that when I saw that because I didn't see that anywhere else again the same is true for this muck and this <laughs> tiny tiny bowl and I don't like the color in general but I don't know this these things just spoke to me and I thought I, I don't like the color. Why would I buy that? I never like these kind of colors when it comes to, to dishes. But those things spoke to me and I'm so glad I bought it because even now, a couple of days later, when I look at it, I like it. I just like it. And this is so incredibly smooth. I have no idea what they've done, but this is so smooth. And this is, this is not smooth. It has a little bit of grip to it. And uh, I like this mug so much. And it's um, perfectly crafted, so no no stains or whatever, no, the line is perfectly done because when I look at um, stuff that I buy and there's multiple of it, um, I always have a look at like the best item, so the one that is like in yeah, the best condition. And I bought this one and I also had some more items of these and I wanted to buy it but then I thought ah, I shouldn't do it. And later I wanted to buy these things and I was at a different city, a different store, and they didn't have that. They didn't have that. And um, I partially regret it because I would have loved this one as an even tinier plate. Yeah, this is really cute, really cute. Um, I wanted to have a bowl. <laughs> this is, this is uh, plastic now, but it is wood, or let's say wooden, wooden design. And I wanted to have a big bowl in which I can put um, noodles inside and uh, I hope it fits, I hope it fits. Um, and this is also sturdy, it can't break, uh, really good. 
This one is just incredibly sweet. This is uh, in the shape of a rice ball and of course <laughs> I've got the Japan flag. And I'm not so sure that you can see that but it has um, like a pattern inside. Not so sure that you can see that but it feels nice and, and this pattern reminds me of, of rice. They also had um, basically the same like triangular shape. Um, so this one, triangular shape, then another triangular shape together, but smaller and they were connected. And I don't remember um, the design of the left triangle, but the left triangle had a nori, um, so seaweed um, design here. And it was so cute, but, and I would have loved to, to buy the other thing, but like, I, I won't use it for what? And so I didn't do so. And I just ended up buying this one. And it, I really love that. I have no idea what I will be using that for, but I guess it's time to start uh, to use smaller plates. <laughs> I needed um, a book stand. Actually, I need plenty of book stands, but I just bought one because this is quite heavy. Uh, I got this from Daiso. And I will use that here on my desk for um, something that I maybe I can show you that in a bit. And I need one book stand here on my desk to keep the loose papers orderly. I bought a nail clipper because I need a nail clipper. I uh, actually was looking for a nail clipper with uh, yeah, a Japanese design, I don't know, Mon Fuji or so. And I found these, but they were like so expensive. So uh, I eventually ended up buying um, yeah, this one for like 100 yen. Yeah, I think also at dice, so I'm not sure. I've got many, many bottles of nail polish that I want to get rid of. And I also needed a brush for so long and I got me this brush. I think I got me that at Daiso. So I can do some kind of nail art. I got that one at the Crane Games and I find that very cute. I'm not a Nintendo or Kirby fan, but that one, that spoke to me even when I saw it in videos and I really wanted to have that. And uh, the cool thing about that is that I can use that for so many things. For example, when I get um, a figure, that's nice to look at, but I can store so many different things in here. And even in many years from now, um, I can change whatever I want to put in there. And um, that is really, really cool. So uh, that's a lot of storage in here and I will probably use that for um, storing all my medication in here because I got a lot of stuff by now and the box that I'm having right now is not um, big enough. Um, I also bought quite a lot of uh, storage boxes because I need them. And this one is so cute. They also had a different design that was um, darker. So they had one with this green bluish color but that one was much nicer and I'm so glad that I got that I think I just had like two or three tries so I spent like just a few hundred yen on that I think 300 yen or so um, really cool and there were also two uh, packages of sugar coated corn snacks in there and uh, they were really good but I had to eat them right away because I wanted to put fragile things in here to make them safe for traveling back home. I bought a few pair of socks at Daiso. So these are just blue. This one is just green. It looks quite pale on the, um, on the screen, but this is like really intense, nice looking green. Um, yeah, blue, some striped ones. I used these ones already and they're really nice and they feel so soft. And uh, yeah, I always need socks and I got a few and uh, really cool, like them. I also got me a towel and this towel was recommended because it's from Imabari City. So Imabari towels are said to be very highly absorbent. Well, um, if a towel soaks up the wet water that is uh, on my hand, it's uh, for me it's already absorbent. 
Um, but I like that one a lot. And unfortunately, the size is a bit, well, hmm, I, I could have needed a size that is like, yeah, bigger, but it's okay. You often find these very long, but not white towels in uh, Japan. I got me a Daruma doll and I bought a few more of these in smaller sizes for people as gifts. <laughs> Put it back in shape. <laughs> um, I was very, very successful at the crane games many times. Often I um, just wanted to play and have won and then I've given that away to other people. Um, yeah, I have taken pictures of everything that I've won and this was the first thing that... Oh no, 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 it was the second thing I've won. And it was the first thing, like the first crane machine that I um, basically put my precious money in. And um, then I went on to something else and I've won that. <laughs> And this was the second thing that I've won, and it was it's so flashy. Love it, so fluffy. <laughs> and uh, I'm not a Nintendo fan, not a Super Mario fan, but I love that one, and I wanted to keep it. Also because it's green, and I love green. And uh, I've won the same thing in red again a little later, but I've given that away to someone else, so a little tiny girl. And uh, yeah, this is like. It, it is it is brand new it is in perfect condition and even the label is still on so yeah take a look at how huge this is this is so cute oh yeah love it it's so cute I'm having fun I can finally use it okay stop it stop it okay I will Hair accessory that I found cute and I wanted to have. Eye drops that I tried in the country and that are a bit, um, well, um, questionable to say the least because I checked the ingredients and I thought, oh, why is this supposed to be in eye drops? But I'm not a chemist, I've got no idea and uh, it hurt a lot because it, it burned. It burned every time I used these and this is why I haven't used a lot of this one yet um this is um g40 oh oh no this is gold it means gold 40 sorry <laughs> g40 old <laughs> um yeah this one uh this is tea for someone who wanted me to buy tea for him but i've also needed a pouch and so i bought this pouch and tea you put this on and then uh, when you wash yourself and you've got water running down, it will basically be stopped running down all the way to your elbow uh, because you wear this. Not really necessary, but I had that so many times that, it was, that water was running down and uh, basically everything was wet. And I hated that so much that when I saw these at, I think, 300 co three coins, um, 300 coins would be a bit expensive uh, at three coins I think three coins um, I thought oh, just whenever I buy these it's fine cooling eye masks that I haven't tried yet I needed some boxes and they are of metal and plastic and um, they look nice and they also are leak proof This is a USB stick that is also a card reader. This is for nail art design. I've got very many cables and they are very annoying because they're always in the yeah in my way. And I bought many, this was a set by the way, many of these accessories that help me keep everything in, in place. And I also bought these um, on a different store. Uh, so I've got a little bit more of these in, in white. These are also accessories for cables, so I can basically uh, attach them 
to the desk and the cables won't fall down. This is accessory for my laptop, so I can store that in a very compact round shape or size. And when I detach that, I can place that on a surface that might be a little bit problematic for the laptop if you just put your laptop on the surface. And then I can put back the back of my laptop on here. And this creates an angle that is still quite nice for your wrist if you type on your laptop. And a stream of air can uh, go below the laptop. Haven't tried this one yet, so if I take off the lid, um, this thing is full of ink and I can basically censor, for example, my name that is on uh, parcels or, or letters when I want to show something on stream, for example. This is washi tape that was in a set and it only cost me 100 yen. So this is night sky, this is obviously just regular sky, some leaves and water. For something that I will show you in a bit, I needed a, I needed a few hooks. So I've got these kind of hooks that I will attach to um, what I will show you a little bit later. And I um, will have uh, another one attached to the board and then I will play something on here. And um, I've seen something that I liked a lot, but I will not use it uh, the way the person used it. So for, for technical devices, but I will use that basically as um, like a keychain board in my new flat because I do not want to have so many um, stuff standing around and lying around because if there is so much furniture in the way, I, I mean, I will clean up, sure, but I will probably not clean up as much or as often as I should. So if there's just a board hanging to the wall, um, there's also more space in the flat and I will probably clean up more often. And I've got these and I also bought me these uh, other hooks. And I also bought a couple of like uh, yeah, these kind of things. Um, so it's basically just round knobs. I bought stationery at Muji and these are the refillers. So I've got pens in purple, orange, uh, it's a bright blue, black and green. And instead of buying the same pen again, I just bought refillers. They are also regarding waste and so on, uh, better for the environment. I bought two plastic boxes, like storage boxes, and I needed them. And uh, so when I got me washi tape a little later, I noticed that it's not fitting in here. Like, I mean, in the other two boxes. And so I had to get me a box that was bigger. And uh, I found this one and it is quite good. And uh, I fit other stuff in here because I, um, yeah, I have got limited space in my two big suitcases. And this one, you can even uh, change the compartments um, to your liking if you need a big one, if you need a smaller one. And uh, I filled in the hooks that I've just shown in here. And uh, yeah, I like this big box. I've also got two smaller boxes uh, somewhere in my suitcase. Cup warmer. I thought this is stupid, I shouldn't buy one, but then I got reminded of how many times I have been in a stream for quite some time and I started the stream with a hot, piping hot mug of tea and after the stream it was entirely cold and I haven't drunk as much as I actually intended and uh, I dislike cold tea and I don't like warming that up in a microwave because I think it just changes the taste for some reason, no idea. And so I bought, <laughs> I really did, I bought a mug warmer um, at Standard Products or 3P, I don't remember. This one. <laughs> yeah. uh, I needed that. Yeah, I needed that. I've got something else and uh, it's not really good. I mean, this is like more like a hair accessory and this is like really something that helps you uh, when you apply uh, lotions to your skin. Yes, this is just a long spoon, but I needed that. And uh, why didn't I buy this here at home in Germany? Because this is not heavy, it doesn't take up much space and it is much cheaper in Japan. And so I bought this. And uh, I don't think this is of good quality because it says 
stainless steel jab. So you can see parts of a like Japan, but it doesn't even say Japan. And also it's a bit sharp and I'm not so sure whether this is really stainless steel, but it's fine. And I've uh, tested this. I haven't cleaned that up, but I just put that next to one of my mugs and um, it just has the perfect size. So I'm so glad I got me this. This box is for <laughs> my batteries. Either I can place in smaller ones or bigger ones. And I've got always um, batteries that are unused, but then I've got some for spare. And uh, I'm not so sure whether I will put in maybe bigger ones and smaller ones together because I've got a mix. Um, but this will come in so handy uh, regarding my technical devices. Washi tape with Mount Fuji. Another compartment box that you can adjust to your liking so you can uh, put these uh, in different spots. And I think I will use these for my cables. Very long cables. They are so amazing. I've spoken to a different tourist and she also said these ones are so good because she too has sometimes gotten like cables that are so short. But uh, yeah, what do you do with short cables? I don't know, but uh, the big brands didn't provide us with longer cables when we bought certain devices. And so she bought a few of these and I bought a few of these too. So um, there's also one with, oh gosh, I needed that so badly. So this is, I think this is even one and a half meters. I'm not so sure, but these are like one meters. And um, yeah, how do I do this? I have no idea what type of, um, I have no idea what type of end this is, uh, but here yeah, I've got this one. And also the regular ones like uh, that, the things that have to become standard now are already standard. And I've got a second one of this bluish type. I wanted to buy green, but I've bought blue and then I bought blue again. I don't know, but they are really good. This is one meter each and this is, I think, one and a half meters. Plum candy, they are good. So when I've seen that online, they had that with the hooks in one package, but they have changed it. So you have to buy this and the hooks separately. And this is basically what I want to do with it. Like I have this board and uh, that's basically for, for storage and to make things look nicer. I wanted to have pill cases for several days, so even an entire month, so I can keep better track of the things that I have to swallow each day or maybe even once every two weeks. And um, I couldn't really find what I was looking for, but this one was kind of close. So it has many compartments, uh, but you also have to, or you can, take these things out of the box so um, yeah i just wanted to have like one box but yeah this is like several boxes that you can take out out of uh, yeah a case basically it's still okay i got me a knife I wanted to have a book so I can practice my reading and identifying Japanese characters more easily. And I was at this bookstore and they were so busy. They had three or four employees at the checkout and they were incredibly busy, but there was no one in the store. And so I waited for quite some time, but there were always people buying things at the checkout. And uh, I didn't end up, uh, ended up asking someone for help. And so I just left. And I bought this one at Book of Super Bazaar and I'm so happy I got this one. I of course didn't know whether this was like too easy or too difficult. And um, so I asked someone and she worked in the book section but didn't speak English at all. And for some reason my pocket Wi-Fi wasn't working in the store. I, I basically just had to uh, like uh, yeah, shut it off and turn it back on again. But I, I really dislike um, yeah, taking off my backpack, opening it up and so on, because it's heavy. If it was lighter, it wouldn't be such a problem. But I, I didn't like that. And so I thought, oh, well, whatever. 
and uh, she asked um, a younger employee and he spoke English quite well and he helped me with two things that I was uh, looking for and this was the first thing and uh, so I asked, hey, I'm looking for a book, the story doesn't matter, I just want to read and practice my reading skills and so um, he was um, with me at the book section for elementary school kids or um, yeah and uh, then he left and then I just checked a few books and I uh, just a few I this was the second book I checked the first one just had pictures uh, so it was for very small kids and this one has also big pictures but this book is quite thick and it has a lot of text um, there are pages with more text or less text um, really nice and so I had that and when he came back I asked hey is this, this okay and um, then he asked me well um, can you read kanji and I just started to laugh <laughs> no <laughs> and uh, it was just a subtle laugh but he then also started laughing and then I had to laugh even more because it was so funny. Yeah, no. Hiragana, katakana, hai. Kanji. Not so good at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was just such a funny moment and I will forever keep that in mind because I laughed, he started laughing, I started to laugh even more. It was so funny. <laughs> Yeah, I got me this book and something else that I absolutely love. I really wanted to have that. And this is a Detective Conan figure. I am such in love with Detective Conan. It's my favorite series, my favorite anime. And um, I was in that one store at Akihabara. Um, and I've seen Detective Conan um, as, yeah, as in the, in the shape of Conan. So basically as an elementary school kid and they didn't have that it was sold out and I asked hey uh, what, a, what is the price actually for that because I thought it's maybe 2,000 yen up two to three thousand probably but he said oh around about 580 which I find is pretty cheap and so this was plain Conan uh, in his blue um, school uniform really nice posture nothing I don't know, just very basic and I loved it and I didn't have it. Uh, when I was at Super Bazaar, they had also a few Conan figures, like, yeah, Detective Conan in general, not just Conan, the character itself, but um, I didn't like that and I was about to, to leave this shelf and in the very last second, because it was not right next to the other um, packages of uh, Conan or, um, yeah, characters from, from the series, I found that one and I'm so glad and I bought that and this is 900 yen so 1000 yen are around about 6 euro a little bit more than 6 euro maybe 610 620 and I'm so glad I bought this and this is in absolute perfect condition this has never been used it is it is still sealed and I will open this up now I can't wait for that I wanted to open that up in Japan already and I've waited and I, I even didn't even like open it up so I've got more storage throwing the box away because the box is not of any interest to me and uh, oh yeah this is, now is the moment so good so good there she is She's quite heavy. Oh, wait. Can I say that about women? Is this okay? I mean, she's a school kid. So even worse. Sorry, I had a tiny laptop. <laughs> oh, she's even having high heels. Oh, okay. So this is... Fuck. Still in perfect condition. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is her. Really cute. Uh, 
And uh, let's attach her laptop. Oh gosh, how do I do this? Wait. Got it. I think. Ta-da! And I'm pretty sure every time I look at that, I will not only think of my great time uh, in Japan, but um, yeah, I will probably think of, I should study more. Have a look at I. She is having her laptop. She is studying. Really cool. Silicon chocolate mold in Disney design. This is something a friend requested and she likes Mickey, Minnie, Daisy and Donald. And you can also use this for other purposes. So you can also just fill in water in there and make ice cubes. And she will definitely, I guess, use this for ice cubes. I was, by the way, looking, because I need that, I destroyed mine, unfortunately, for um, ice cube trays made up of flexible silicon. And I didn't find any in literally no store. Literally no store had that. Hmm. I got me plenty of those packing cubes. I, um, at the beginning I thought, I don't need that, this is rubbish. Yeah. But they come in so handy and I'm now such a big fan. And I bought, this was a set, so there are I think two or three of these um, in different sizes. And then I've got this in like, so the back is, is like that, but the front has like a mesh net and also in different sizes, but I'm still uh, having them in use. So I can't show you that. But I've uh, bought a set of this one. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, so this is the big one of these. So this is the mesh net and um, in the back it's like that. I've bought a few of these and I'm a big fan of those packing cubes now. They really are come in so handy. Tea. Partially for me, partially for a friend. Uh, this is berry tea. I normally always bring me berry tea. Something uh, for baking and uh, hot chocolate or vanilla extract um, back home from my travels. This time it was just berry tea. Uh, this is peach tea. This is also just for me. And a friend of mine requested sakura tea, which was very difficult to find for some reason. And this one is sakura tree. I bought two. One I will keep and one I will give to a friend. In here are probably the most expensive chopsticks ever, but they are so good. They not only look nice, so they've got sakura design, but this is also not just a little bit of plastic stuck to the top. So when you wash these, that will probably get off. But this is like coated the entire way through. And down here, you've got a nice grip. I'm not so sure that you can see that. Um, uh, I like these. And uh, later, I <laughs> later I realized that the blue ones are a little bit longer than the, the, the pinkish ones. Okay. Right, whatever. If you have seen my videos from Japan, so the uncut version, the raw version, although I have to say I uh, have censored faces, for example, of little kids, but if you've seen me in Japan, for example, on uh, YouTube in my videos or also on Twitch, then you might have seen me in Kyoto buying these. If you haven't, then you can go online the videos are still available on YouTube. I want to make a travel book. I have never done that and I found these very cute and so Japan related uh, Mount Fuji stickers. Pouches from Stena products. This one came in handy so incredibly well and I bought this a second time. So one is already in use, but uh, unfortunately I broke one of these little um, handles here and uh, I attached that back again, I sewed it back together, but I wanted to buy another one anyways, so I bought another one. So um, you can hang that and you've got this pouch outside, you've got 
um, not pouch, but like a pocket outside, the big pocket here. And here in the back, you also got another pocket. So I've got two of these in green. Unfortunately, I didn't find that again in a different color. Uh, I think they had dark blue, but I didn't like that. And I've got this one in um, a different uh, size. So again, here on the outside, uh, on the inside, so the handle is inside. Uh, and uh, yeah, or well, the cord is inside rather. And here you've got another pocket. But this time there's no, uh, no zipper or a button. So um, here you are. Comes in quite handy when I do live streams outside. I have won these at the Crane Games and it only took me one try, so 100 yen. This is a cleaning tool, so uh, you take that out and you've got a little brush down here. You've got a pointier tip or end here and you have got a brush here. So this is what it looks like. And uh, you can use this to clean, for example, headphones. Yeah. I will also try to clean my uh, fitness tracker with that. This is actually the purpose why I bought this for, to clean my fitness tracker and not so much my headphones. This is an original Ghibli product that I got from the Crane Games. And I don't know how many tries it took me, maybe three, four, I don't, I don't remember. But this is not for me, this is for, uh, yeah, let's say a friend. It's not really friendship, but uh, for an acquaintance, maybe better. And she is totally <laughs> into Ghibli, and I hope she will like that, I hope she will like that. It's quite, it's, yeah, quite hard actually, but yeah, it's like that. This is from the original uh, Ghibli store, so this is an original product, not just a cheap, um, yeah, fake product, you can say. Chocolate. I like these ones. They also had this in matcha, which was really good. I can really recommend the matcha version. And uh, I tried the um, strawberry version. I didn't enjoy the strawberry version that much. Didn't try the white chocolate or dark chocolate version. And they had this also, I mean, this is milk chocolate, but they even had that with, um, yeah, brighter milk chocolate. That was also good. So this, the brighter milk chocolate version and the matcha version, uh, I can recommend that. And I will definitely, the next time I go to Japan, buy this in matcha on bulk. This is tea I got from Muji. This is Sakura green tea that I uh, have bought for a friend of mine. And this is white peach and green tea powdered tea in little sachets. Matcha sweets. I have no idea what they look like uh, because there is no uh, photo of them on here. But uh, they had pictures of the sweets on display. So you knew what was in there. But I have no idea what they look like anymore. And they are also sealed. <laughs> so uh, no idea what is in there. Um, matcha treats that look quite interesting, so I bought them. This is rather... <laughs> this is actually more like a, um, a fun item that I bought because this looked so tasty. I just wanted to eat that, but I was hungry in that moment, I think. Uh, I mean, it looks tasty and I li like sauce. And this is, uh, what does it say? Taco, taco rice. There is no rice. This is um, <laughs> obviously salad. But I would probably put that on salad. I'm not so sure. Probably not taco salad, like rice. I absolutely can't wait to use this. So this is, again, something I need for my technical stuff. So you can open this up and uh, either you um, put, hold on, this is for something else, your uh, cards in here or smaller ones here, or you can also uh, take that out and have like this entire uh, tiny box for whatever you need. And um, I've got so many cards, so many cables, and I do need that. But every time you buy something new, you also get new cables. Although you maybe have got a cable that is still absolutely working fine, but just the device 
it wasn't and you had to replace that and this is how you end up eventually with many cables many devices many this many that and uh, i've got it all um nice orderly and tidy in my box but I want to restructure everything and I think this comes in quite handy and uh, I've tried that it's working out it's um, I've got hold on I've got cards here so this is what looks like a tiny card and this is a bigger card uh, fits perfectly fine in here amazing washi tape The people recommended buying this mayonnaise is from uh, Q-Pie. I bought it, I will try that at home. And uh, yeah, the good thing about this is you don't need to cool that. So you can buy that off the shelves and uh, just put it right into your suitcase. This is a product that I wanted to return because I thought it's uh, made up of flexible, uh, soft silicon, but it is not, it is, it is quite sturdy. Um, plastic unfortunately so these things I've seen them online in a video and I wanted to have these for my bento boxes but also bento boxes is something that I didn't buy because I didn't find one that I liked and this is basically salad salad leaves salad cups <laughs> and you can put stuff in here for your bento boxes and um, I bought these at Hens and this is the Oh, not only product I bought at Hands, but uh, in, in Kyoto. And um, yeah, you can put hot things in here up to 100 degrees. And I don't remember what it said. You can. No, you cannot put them in the oven, but it's. Yeah. 100 degrees is um, absolutely fine. So Celsius. Celsius, of course. Celsius. <laughs> I can so, so highly recommend buying these bonbons like this candy they look exactly like that so they've got matcha and they have got some cream and if you're a fan of Werther's original so this creamy uh, hard candy you will definitely love these and they are so good they taste um, they've got matcha taste but not too intense not too bitter and they've also got this creamy taste of yeah cream and milk and they are so good. This is the second package I bought. I had one and I <laughs> ate them or consumed them in Japan and I bought me another one and I wanted to open that up in Japan but I thought no, I'm taking that back home with me and they are so good. I can so recommend buying these. The, um, not so sure where I bought these but I've seen them at Daiso for 100 yen so you buy them at Daiso. It's probably the cheapest. Maybe you can also find them um, at, I don't know, Lawson, 7-Eleven, Family Mart for cheap. Not so sure which one is cheaper, but I can recommend buying these. I needed another tiny pouch and so I got me a tiny pouch. And uh, yeah, tiny transparent pouch. This is also something that I bought for friends who are very creative, doing uh, a lot of um, drawings and so on. So this is... Japanese food, but they are also erasers. Chopstick holder. Would have loved to have a second one, but I couldn't find one that I liked. Got this at Gashapon. This is again a Conan product, and I either wanted to have Conan or I, and I got I. And um, I thought this was of a different material. This is unfortunately synthetic polyester stuff, but yeah, okay. That's fine. Um, they always say you need a pouch for like a tiny one, like a um, tiny wallet for all the coins you get. And uh, I didn't have that. And I, sometimes it would have come handy, come in handy to have that in my uh, pocket of my jacket. And so I can easily put that out instead of um, putting down my backpack, getting out my, my big wallets or my regular wallet and so on. And uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I got me that at Gashapon. These are compartment dividers or dividers for your fridge. So you put that, here's, I'm not so sure you can see that, you uh, attach the uh, wall of, um, yeah, your, whatever you're having compartment in, in the fridge. Uh, uh, between this and this part and basically it divides um, yeah 
a bigger section and makes smaller compartments. I bought two of these. Um, yeah, I, I think they will come in quite handy uh, in my fridge. This is steam cream. The label says it's for uh, hand and body or so. But uh, people online said you can also use that for hair. And I asked in a store, I think I got that from Loft in uh, Tokyo in, where is this? Uh, Shibu Shibuya, yeah, exactly. And uh, whether you can use that for hair as well. And uh, they checked that and the staff, so the two women I asked, they said, yeah, you can. And they've had different designs. And this was the only one with the Daruma and I'm so glad I got the last one. So this cream is uh, vegan and made in Japan. <clears throat> and uh, when I will have used this entirely, I also got a really nice looking tin box. Got this at Donkey and I saw that only at Donkey. So this, I'm not so sure, I've seen that many times in, um, in videos online um, and at first I thought, okay, this is like, like cheesecake. But when I had that in Japan, I realized, oh no, this is actual cheese. This is a depiction of actual cheese. But like the shape of that reminds me rather of cheesecake. So what are these? These are um, very creamy inside, but also I can't say crunchy, but um, it's difficult to describe the texture, but they are so good. So they are in the sweet sections, uh, in the sweet section, but they are very salty. So this is basically, these are cheese bites and they are so good. They are not the cheapest, but I can recommend buying these. Have a try. They are really good. Next time I go to Japan, I will buy these on bulk. This chocolate is so good. This is just standard milk chocolate and it's not even 100 grams. I think it's 50 grams? Maybe, yeah. Funny thing, it gives you instructions on uh, of uh, how to fold this um, red paper into uh, yeah, different shapes. And you can find even more uh, folding instructions online, it says. So Meiji is one of the big brands, basically Milka in Japan, you can say. And this is basic milk chocolate, but it tastes so good. And this was actually my second one. I had one in Japan and ate that entirely. And I uh, wanted to have me basic milk chocolate uh, from Meiji at home. So I got me one. This is also something that I bought at a temple or a shrine, don't remember. Um, and I wanted to have this Ema for me at home. You can buy Emas and write something on the back, like wishes, and hang them there at uh, temples. But this was so nice and I wanted to have this for me at home. And this is basically exactly what it looks like. So I was there and it really looks like that. Unfortunately, I didn't see at that time uh, those nice sakura trees with flowers or, or blooming and uh, yeah. It is an amazing spot and I can highly recommend going there. It takes up, um, yeah, a lot of breath going up there. <laughs> Either you take the stairs, which is the shortest way, but also the most exhausting, or you just take like the serpentines and you just walk up slowly. Um, going up there is exhausting, but so worth it. As always, I can highly recommend going there when it opens up. Basically, this is open 24 hours a day. And uh, don't go later than 9 a.m. Even at 9 a.m. it will be quite crowded already. Bath salt. I have bought bath salt and essence in Japan and used it there because often I had accommodations with bathtubs and I actually wanted to use these in Japan but I end up didn't doing so as you can see. And uh, now I have them here and uh, yeah I got these from Loft. And uh, I, uh, I'm very curious about uh, the smell. <sighs> Another device for my tech stuff. It's basically um, a phone holder. So I was often in a situation during streams that I thought it would be better to have my phone uh, being in upright position so I can more easily check uh, the stream and check the chat. And uh, I bought me that now. 
I have bought these in Japan and as you can see I've opened up the package and these ones they are so good it's a uh, candy yuzu and kinkan I'm not sure what kinkan is to be honest I didn't google that but yuzu is basically uh, Japanese lemon or like Asian lemon and they are really good got them at Muji as you can see from the packaging and it also says Muji <laughs> I'm a tiny person and often things don't really fit my size and um, either I, I use like sizes for like school kids um, but then it's maybe too tiny or I use sizes for adults and then it's too big and uh, I have bought this for my backpacks so basically I attach that uh, to one strap uh, outside here and then this one to the other and then I basically yeah, pull that together and it holds the, the um, backpack closer uh, at the front. And that could have could have come in handy so many times in Japan. But this just didn't fit um, the backpack I was using there. But it will definitely come in handy here with a backpack that I use uh, every day. As I said, I always bring me tea and I like fruit tea and only fruit tea. And this is why I'm having a box here with different kinds of fruit tea, sweet strawberry, fresh lemon, juicy peach, forest fruits and red apple. These are the same cooling masks and uh, I got rid of the packaging from the other one because I wanted to use them and uh, I haven't done so with these. Sakura brownies that I got at Donkey. So they had samples <laughs> made up of plastic on a display so you can see what they actually look like and uh, I wanted to try these and uh, oh, have a look it's so basically you can, uh, like, like trees ah, okay anyway still in packaging uh, haven't opened them up 10 pounds <laughs> in Japan they only have two sizes of 10 pounds and they are um, soft so they've got um, normal and super or mini mini or normal at least normal and uh, I wanted to try one because they are countries that have like terrible tampons so soft how do you get them even in terrible uh, I've heard that Australia has terrible tampons <laughs> and a friend of mine um, moved to Australia a couple of months ago and she uh, brought a lot of German tampons with her and um, yeah so as far as I know Japanese tampons always come with a little tool that helps you insert them in well I uh, guess I will have a try green tea in tea bags this is a device that helps you boil your eggs to the degree that you like you put them in the pot with hot water and uh, then this will change its color and you can see if you want them hard or soft boiled and then you just put out your eggs and I definitely need that oh holy shit yes I do washi tape or masking tape foldable funnel made up of flexible silicone I can highly recommend buying these. They are so tasty. They are from Muji. Matcha chocolate coated strawberries. Really good. I had plenty of these when I was in Japan and I bought some for home. In summer, I often have the issues with little flies or whatever um, going to my mugs, sitting there, maybe sometimes even going into my beverage. I dislike that and so I bought me um, this flexible made up of uh, soft silicon um, device that I can um, put on my mug, maybe even tiny uh, bowls and then this will help me keep me all the flies away. Or at least I use that for flies. You can of course use that on tiny bowls so the stuff whatever you've got in there keeps fresh a little longer because uh, no air comes in. Perforated fasting tape so you can break uh, these apart to uh, your liking 
how much do you need and then basically you can wrap that around cables and keep everything orderly stored. I bought a few more Daruma dolls as I said and uh, one is already gone gifted to someone else. I got me two of these. I actually intended buying one of that, like that size, and one bigger one, but I couldn't find a bigger one. I don't know why. I've seen that in videos. They've got this size and a bigger size, and the bigger size was literally nowhere to be found. And I want that to make my desk a little bit more tidy and save a bit more space so I can put in my, um, you can see that on the side, put in my, um, pens. I, I would rather like to store things like uh, vertically and save space instead of having that basically horizontally and um, I mean there's a lot of space here but I want to you know limit the things that I'm having on my desk and uh, yeah can't wait oh they are can't wait to use them and it says made in Japan oh, okay good I uh, don't remember where I got these actually. Um, so you can use them horizontally but also vertically. This is horizontally, this is vertically. <laughs> this box is so incredibly heavy. So uh, as far as I have understood, they are uh, different types of, can I say flavors or odors? But this is uh, something that you put in your bathtub. It's basically uh, making water fizzy and yeah, I mean, here you can see that. Um, yeah. This is so incredibly heavy. This is not just very heavy, it is also very expensive and I hope they are good. By the way, uh, I have passed this restaurant a couple of times in Osaka and I wanted to go in there but someone said they were having like chili ramen and I would probably not like that because it's too spicy. And also there were always very long queues and um, I came by those stores quite late at the day and so I thought okay I get me something else but other, um, otherwise I would have uh, gone to this very famous Ichiran um, restaurant and they even have um, in Osaka at Totombori basically at the other end so on the one end there is this one and at the other end there is this store but just the vegan or vegetarian option so yeah didn't try any because I like my meat a nice round box with green tea tube squeezer Hair mask that got recommended online and it better be good. I bought that at Donkey. Markers. Cleaning tool that I wanted because this part is curved. You can attach these to the plastic of the inside of your fridge and put little tubes of, I don't know, sauces in here. But you can also attach this to boxes, like organizing um, boxes on your desk. And I will probably be doing that and put like, I don't know, little clips in here or razors. 